Thank you for coming. Uh, I want to introduce you to everyone. Okay. Oh, right. Well, let me drive you. I want to be there to watch you pitch anyway. Got a ride? Anna drove you all the way over here just to wait in the car? Why would she do that? A fan? Can't you see how ridiculous that is? No, you're right. It shouldn't. But it does. I can't do this anymore. What do you mean? I've worked really hard to be the kind of person who's not needy and insecure. But this relationship is turning me into someone I don't want to be. You're a freshman in college. You should be able to hang out with whoever you want. Date whoever you want. I don't want to date you. You're the first person I ever fell in love with. The first person I ever thought about a future with. I lost my virginity to you. I, I learned a new language for you. I will always love you. But this relationship isn't right for me anymore. Please don't make it harder than it is for me to do this. What's up? I didn't get a bid from Theta. I know. It was a competitive year. I'm sorry. I think we both know why I didn't get in. We do? We hooked up with the same guy and you blackballed me. I'm not allowed to discuss the decision-making process. Okay, fine. I'm not even sure why I care since it's catty and shallow and pretty much exactly what I expected from someone in a sorority before I started this whole stupid process. The reason you didn't get a bid had nothing to do with Mingo. In fact, I voted for you. Tara is the one who blackballed you. Tara? The girl you interviewed with? She said you were trying way too hard to impress her. I'm sorry you didn't get in. And I'm even more sorry I hooked up with a guy that you are clearly obsessed with. But if you're looking for a catty and superficial girl, I think you should try looking in the mirror. 